When John Kubis graduated from Purdue in the spring of 1967 with a degree in veterinary medicine, he signed up for the Army in hopes of getting a good post and avoiding Vietnam. Kubis was posted in New York City. After six months in New York City, uh -huh. I went to the colonel and I said, this is not for me. And he said, well, if you transfer, you're probably going to Vietnam. I said, you know what? My experience is here, I might be safer in Vietnam. Kubis was put in charge of the unit that handled scout dog injuries, where he met handler Tom Hewitt and his dog, Paper. Paper was a scout dog from the 101st Airborne, and he got injured in the mountains, and it was during the monsoon season, so the helicopters couldn't get in there for like three days. So here he is severely wounded through the, almost took his front leg off. And by the time we saw him, it was already a major wound. He lost a lot of blood. The extent of the injury was likely too great to hope for any kind of recovery for paper. And they looked at the x-rays and the pictures and they said, oh, no, that dog's not going anywhere. If this was a person, we'd be giving him a purple heart and sending him home. I said, yeah, but this is a dog and the Army don't send them home. Through the dedication of Dr. Kubis and his team, in 10 weeks, Paper was deemed ready to return to duty. Just a few days later on a routine patrol, Paper was doing his job and signaled that the enemy was close. You know, in the book we talk about, you know, bullets flying all over the place. And when it was all over, the only casualty was Paper and Paper's head stopped the bullet that was meant for Tom. Paper had sacrificed himself to save his handler. Dr. Kubis says he's been asked why he sent the dog back to active duty after being injured. It wasn't a matter of keeping the dog. I could have kept the dog and the handler, but that handler said he had brothers out there that were dying because him and that dog weren't there. Kubis says he was compelled to write Paper's story, but once he finished the manuscript, he was told not to waste his time with a book and he should look into making the story into a movie. People like Sylvester Stallone and Ron Howard and uh, Tom Hanks, Disney, all of them had an interest, but nobody could come up with a decent screenplay. As the screenplay languished, Kubis attended a Vietnam veterans reunion in Kokomo. A veteran there introduced Dr. Kubis to his son and told the doctor that his son was there because Dr. Kubis had saved his scout dog's life in Vietnam and the dog later saved his life. Dr. Kubis knew at that moment he had to stop waiting for Hollywood and publish his book. I said, this is, I got to give the tribute to these dogs and handlers. This book has got to be finished. The book is called Paper Dog. The True Life Story of a it's Vietnam War Dog. So Dr. Kubis says it's time to tell the story of the 3,000 dogs and their handlers who served in the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. That relationship has never been addressed. People don't realize how important. I mean, you have a dog and you know you, you, you love your pet, but this was really special. Paper Dog is available in both hard and soft cover. Dr. Kubis will be holding a book signing this Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. at All Pets Animal Hospital at 1806 Elmwood Avenue. Dave North, Star City News, Lafayette.